In this tutorial, we are going to create some bolts. So, let's get started. So, the first bolt we are going to create is this one. We are just going to create the top of the each bolt here. So, I'm pressing Shift A to make a cylinder with 16 vertices. I'm going to scale this down through the Z axis and applying the scale and tap into edit mode and deleting these face. And next thing I'm going to do is selecting these two and I'm going to join this by pressing J and also these two J. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side like so. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is go to face mode and selecting these faces and extrude this along normal like so and I'm going to do this twice. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is selecting these faces and I'm going to extrude this inside the uh, model like so and I'm going to scale this down like this. All right, now we need to bevel some edges. So I'm going to press two for edge mode and I'm going to select these uh, edges. I'm holding Alt and Shift. Ctrl B for bubble and all right. So the next thing I'm going to add the subdivision surface to see how this is going to work. We need to do some modification. So let's go back. I'm going to turn off this edit mode button by uh, turning this off. If you go to edit mode, you can see your modifier. And if you go back to your object mode, you can see that so you can easily toggle between these subdivision surface modifier All right so the next thing i'm going to do is fix this the problem about this is uh, this uh, kind of stretch i'm going to um join these two together and i think this is going to fix our problem yeah so i'm going to do the same thing to the other vertices all right now i think it looks better and we can turn on the shade smooth and also we can increase the level of the subdivision surface all right next thing i'm going to do is do some bubble for this part one segment bubble and again i'm going to select these and add another bubble maybe with two segments like so all right and the last thing i'm going to do is deleting these faces and so we can scale this down like this and here we go so let's go for the next one this is i think this is one of the most common screws in the world so let's create a cylinder with 16 vertices and same as before i'm going to scale it down through z-axis and applying the scale and tap into edit mode i'm going to delete this bottom face and go to vertex mode and select these two vertices and i'm going to join them together also these one and next thing i'm going to do is adding an edge loop here and I'm going to put the snapping on vertex, right? And I'm going to press three to face mode and I'm going to select the extrude manifold from here. Click here and drag and holding control and hover your mouse over this vertex and release, All right, Like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is selecting these edges. And also these, not this one. Press Ctrl B for one segment bubble like this. Maybe a little smaller. All right. 
and I'm going to select these edges and scale them down like this, maybe a little down here. And I'm going to press Ctrl minus to decreasing the selection and also I'm going to scale it down like this. The next thing I'm going to do is adding a bubble modifier. And I'm going to put the geometry to arc and decreasing the amount of the bubble and increasing the segment to two. Also, I'm going to add the subdivision surface two or three level. But as you can see here, we have some um, shading problem. To solve this, I'm going to turn off the subdivision surface and I'm going to apply the bubble. So apply this through object mode and go to edit mode and add an edge loop here. Also another one here. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is joining these two vertices together by pressing J. So like these two and press J. So again, let's try the subdivision. I think that's going to work better. And um, let's do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to select these two and press J to join. And these two and press J to join them together. So also we can um, select these. And also these. And drag them down double G and put it down here. Also these and G put it down here and I scaled it down a little. So I think that is going to work better. So right click shade as smooth and this is our second screw. The next one is internal and uh, external hex screws. So this is internal hex and this is external hex screw. So this is the easy one adding cylinder with six vertices, scale it down like before and applying the scale, deleting these face. So the next thing I'm going to do is adding inset to this face and extrude inside the model like so. And also we need to select these edges around the screw. So I'm holding Control Alt and click here to do a ring selection. Also holding Alt, Shift, and click here to select the loop and also these two. And then I'm going to add a bubble by pressing Ctrl B for two segment bubble like this. The next thing I'm going to do is adding the subdivision surface with two or three level and right click shade smooth. So here we have our screw, but here we need to extrude some part of the bottom of the um, this external hex screw. So let's do this. Go to edit mode and I'm going to add an edge loop here like this. Face mode select here and right click extrude face along normal like this. And let's turn off the subdivision surface and go to edit mode. I'm going to select this edge loop here and um, also these two and adding a bubble here like so. All right. But if I turn on the subdivision surface, um, we have another hex here, which is not right because this bottom part should be a circular shape and uh, this one should be in hexagon. So to solve this, we can add an edge loop here and here, and we are going to, let's turn off the subdivision surface. We can join these two together, and also these two, J. And we need to delete these edges because these supporting edges uh, are going to prevent uh, this shape to go for a circle. So if I turn on the subdivision, as you can see, we are going to have this curve here, which is going to give us a circular shape. So I'm going to do the same thing to the uh, other sides.
all right now let's try the subdivision surface so as you can see now we have a circular shape here i'm going to select these vertices and i'm going to scale them like so to reach a almost a circular shape and also here we have another problem because of this edge loop we lost the circular shape of this inner part so to fix this we need to select these vertices and scale this and pressing shift c to exclude the z-axis to a scaling and do a circular shape like this and also let's go here and select these vertices and put them up to increasing the scale like so so here we go let's put this aside and let's go for the next one uh, the next bolt we are going to create is this one this internal hex so i'm going to create a cylinder with six vertices and again i'm going to scale it down to uh, through z axis i'm going to apply the scale and i'm going to delete this face all right so let's go to edit mode and select these face and i'm going to do a insert here and do this again I'm going to extrude this inside the model, like so. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, selecting uh, these edge loops. And these, and these. And I'm going to do a bevel. And um, let's see, I think one segment bevel is enough. So I'm going to put this like so. And I'm going to um, put the geometry on arc. And next thing, I'm going to add the subdivision surface. And as you can see, we have a problem here. So I'm going to turn this off. And we need to join these two together. So I'm going to join all of this. And if I turn on the subdivision surface, as you can see, problem is going to be solved so i'm going to select these edges also i'm going to add a one segment bevel here and let's turn on the subdivision surface with two level or maybe three and shade smooth All right the next one is this star head bolt so i'm going to add a cylinder with 12 vertices and scale it down, applying the scale and deleting this face. And I'm going to select this one and insert twice. And I'm going to press one to uh, selecting the vertices. Let's put this here and go to select and check your deselect. And then I'm going to scale it down like so. Let's put this here. All right, then I'm going to select this face and extrude inside the model. I'm going to select these edges and do the bevel like this. And I'm going to hold Ctrl Alt and click here to make ring selection. And also holding Shift and select here and here to add these edges too. And then press Ctrl B for operating the bevel. Something like this. All right. Also here, I'm going to add another bubble like this and these two with two segments like this. So now let's add the subdivision surface with three level and shade as smooth. So here is the result, but we need to add this cylinder inside the model. So let's turn off this and shade flat and go to edit mode i'm going to select this face and delete this 
Next, I'm going to select these edges and press Ctrl F and fill grid. I'm going to select these faces. And I'm going to use the loop tools, which is an add-on inside the blender. And I'm going to select the circle. And I'm going to put this on zero. Or I'm, I can rotate this to get a better result. And I'm going to do an inset like this. And I'm going to extrude this like so. And another inset. And also do a little bevel here. Right, like this. Also, we can select this and scale this down. Also, we can do some modification and um, and improve the topology. Uh, so I can join these two vertices together. Oops, we can join these two together. Also, we can join these two as well. Right. Also, we can select these faces and press F and add an inset and press M and collapse. Like so. And the last one is this two hole head. So let's again add a cylinder with 12 vertices and scale it down and applying the scale and deleting this face. So let's go here and add an insert like this. And I'm going to join these two vertices together. Also, these two and these two. And I'm going to select these two vertices. I'm pressing Ctrl Shift and B to uh, make bevel like this. Right. And then here under the shape, I'm going to decreasing the um, number of the shape but if you want to make this perfectly circular you you can select these faces and right click loop tools and circle now you know this is a perfect circle also here right click and circle All right next thing i'm going to do is selecting these two and extrude inside the model like this and also we can join these together to keep the model as quad and also join these and then i'm going to select these edge loops and control b for bevel like this and i'm going to change the shape to 0.5 and also we need to select these edges and do some bubble here as well and same as usual we are going to add the subdivision surface with three levels and shade smooth like this Alright, that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.